Hello everyone, my name is Python GB and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Expert Mode playthrough. We're on the 37th episode, my friends, and today we have ourselves the task of taking down a bunch of pillars. Now, the first pillar I'm probably going to take down is actually going to be the Nebula Pillar, simply because it is literally right next to our house. And as a result, it should be just that little bit easier to get this thing going. But, instead of just going ahead when it eventually comes to the Moon Lord, instead of just, you know, accepting a death, we will actually try to take him down. In other words, once we've taken down a third pillar, we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to try and make ourselves a Moon Lord Arena. And I want to try and use teleporters, because I feel like teleporters might be a good way to do it. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting, my friends, but here we go. We've got the Bewitched Effect. Let's get as many dudes as we possibly can. Four, five, six, seven... And, yep, there we go. Seven is good. So, here we go, my friends. We are heading straight away into the nebula pillar, my friends. The mage pillar, if you will. So, yeah, this is gonna be interesting, to say the very least. Already taking a whole crap ton of damage, which uh, I am actually almost dead right now. Uh, okay, this is, uh, this isn't go- Wow. This is gonna be difficult. Man, the patience that I'm going to have to have to take down the pillars today. This is going to be insane. The death counter is going to go off the scale. There's, I don't think there's any other way to really describe it, but that is literally going to happen. The death counter is going to go absolutely insane. So here we go. Get these babies back on. I tell you what, let's use our UFO this time. And uh, let's see about taking these fools down. I think this time I'm going to use the possessed hatchet and seeing about, uh, you know, getting some peeps killed. So, yeah. Oh, God. There's so many guys around, man. Two. This is, uh, this is not going to be good. I I'm not looking for, ah, uh, I was purposely putting off recording this episode because I knew, I just knew in my head that this is what it would consist of. Just consistent deaths. Consistent, just, you know, just death. Dead. You know, I, I, there's going to be no time where I can stay alive, man. It's not going to happen. I don't even have a nurse in here anymore. Uh, oh, do I? Oh, no, hang, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. We do have a nurse, and we are going to utilize her. So if we just fly away for a sec, there she goes. She is uh, now inside our base, and I think we're going to have to adopt the old tactic of just dipping in and out of the area. So there we go. We dipped in. And now we're dipping out, and yeah, there we go, a bunch of guys. Oh my god! The things are still doing well over 150 damage to me, which is pretty crazy. Alright, once again, dipping in and out, and we'll see about, you know, just taking the dudes down. The Xeno dudes are doing... A Nebula Sphere? Okay, I mean, that's, that's fine and dandy. We're about to get spawn killed as well, because that, that bloody guy is right there. This isn't going to be so good, man. I'm not looking forward to this. All right, here we go. Oh, spam it, spam it. Oh, God. No, this is terrible, man. Oh, no, no, no. This is not what I wanted to do. I don't want, I don't want this. I just want to stay alive. I just want to stay alive. Why are you not let me do this, man? Holy crap, how are we still alive? Come on. Come on, baby. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, we're never, ever going to be able to do this, man. Holy crap. Oh, I'll tell you what. Once we get the Stardust Dragon stuff, I think we might actually be okay. But we can't even get to the Stardust Pillar because, A, the Solar Pillar is actually in the way. And I don't think I'll be able to even run through that, let alone fly past with my blooming uh, UFO. So, yeah, this is... This is going to be rough. Like, this is going to be rough beyond rough. So, here we go. Let's get ourselves max health again. We've got ourselves all the little dudes right here. I think that's everybody. Can I, uh... Oh, there we go. Get another one on. There we go. Fantastic. All right, let's use our UFO. And, yeah, let's see about uh, taking a bunch of guys down. All right, guys. This is probably going to become a bit of a death charge, perhaps. So, yeah. Let's, uh... Let, let's see about taking these guys down, huh? Hey, there we go, my friends. The first pillar is about to be taken down. If we can survive this, that'd be absolutely fantastic, of course. But those blooming teleporting suckler dudes are a bit of a pain in the ass. Holy crap, I'm not actually able to take this uh, pillar down as quickly as I probably normally would in normal mode. But holy poop, there's a lot of guys to kill. 
Good freaking lord. Alright, and health right there. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. He's about half health now. Alright, looking good, my friends. Oh, keep it going. Oh, god damn it. And there's another death in the cards right there. Good god diggity damn lord of hell and stuff. Yeah, that. Ah, right, come on, man. We almost got this guy down. We almost got this guy down. Like, very, very almost. Alright, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna purposely not use a potion as soon as I spawn. And instead, I'm gonna use this gal. Alright, thanks, Caitlin. Let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's see about. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Eh, there we go. And now let's see about getting these fools destroyed. Alright, do, do 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 I feel like using my, my Scourge of the Corruptors actually did a pretty decent job of, uh, of taking peeps down. So, oh, I've gotta say, I'm pretty happy with that. Oh god, I've been, uh, blinded. Come on, 4,000 health and then we can make ourselves some mage stuff. Though I don't really know if I'm going to be using anything mage related because I really do like the summoning stuff in uh, in very late hard mode. So, yeah. Alright. Ah, oh, come on, man. Just take all the other peeps down here. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Uh, 43. 50? We got 50 fragments from that? God damn. That's a lot, isn't it? Holy poop. Alright, there's a bunch of hearts on the floor, which I guess I could go ahead and uh, and pick up. So that's all fine. Oh god, hello, Mr. Unicorn. <laughs> I like how Unicorn just decided, hey, I wanna I wanna join in on the fun too, son. Why you not let me do this? <laughs> oh man. Alright, so yeah, that, that wasn't actually after those first initial deaths, you get into like a bit of a rhythm in terms of avoiding people. In my case, it was using the UFO to sort of do a figure of eight in the air, and that seemed to have done the job in terms of me going ahead and uh, keeping myself alive. But now we have ourselves the rather unruly task of uh, of doing some things. In fact, do you know what I'm going to do? Do you know what I am going to do? I'm actually going to put down some of these banners which I've managed to obtain, okay? I'm going to put down the banners in the location of where the pillars were. So in this case, it was on the opposite flat area. So around here is where the thing was. So I'll tell you what I'm going to go and do. I'm going to go ahead and do this. There we go. That should that should do the job of allowing me to take guys down just that little bit quicker in future. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead, organize our inventory, and we shall go ahead and get on with the solar pillar next. All right, let's do this. Alrighty guys, we're now approaching the solar pillar, so as soon as that background turns orange, we're going to dip straight back out, because, uh, yeah, we don't want to get killed, so, okay, so pretty much when we hit that stone platform there, is where things start to get a bit tasty, interesting, oh, good, sweet lord above, okay, there they all are, <laughs> right, okay, now obviously, for those of you guys who don't know, with the solar pillar, you have to stay at least, well, below 10 blocks above the ground, because if you're too high, then a big ass blooming worm's gonna come after you and kick your butt, so, yeah. Ow! Why you do this, man? All I'm trying to do is, you know, live my life. I live my life a quarter mile a time. No, I don't, I don't know, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, god damn it, man. These guys are brutal. Like, you can't avoid them. Not very well, anyway. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're almost dead at this point. God damn it, I need to have, like, an instant healing station. I think I need to, like, make a nurse home in each of the pillar areas and then have her move each time we take down a pillar. Oh, I feel like that might be a cool idea. Eh, well, I don't know. I, I just don't know, my friends. All right, okay. Oh, God! Yep. 163 damage. Jeez. These guys are OP as hell. Damn. Alright, so here we go, my friends. We're doing ourselves another sort of death targe, I guess, because that's all we'll be able to do. Because of these stupid ass freaking dudes of idioticness. Alright, let's do this thing. And there we have it, my friends. The solar pillar is now down. We do, of course, have the monumental task of trying to survive this damn thing. Now, holy poop sack, we might even need to dip out for a sec. Uh oh. Uh oh, we're in a bad situation here. Oh! Mr. Wormy! Mr. Wormy got me. God diggity damn, man. Holy poop sack. This is, uh. This is stressful to say the least, but I'm trying my best to not let it get to me. I mean, I knew from the start that this would be a massive. Well. <laughs> to put it mildly, a ball ache, so. Yeah, I, I, I just knew, so. Yeah, I'm not too heartbroken about all the deaths, but. You know. Doesn't exactly demonstrate my expert mode prowess, does it now? 
<laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Alright guys, let's head our way back over there. Hopefully this should be the one where we actually do it. Right? Hopefully. I forgot to use the nurse, didn't I? That was rather stupid of me, wasn't it now? Alright, let's, uh, let's see if we can't do this thing anywhere. Let's just keep surging all the way through. There we go, that actually kind of hurt. Alright, he's down to... Well, he's nearly dead actually. 5,000, 4,000. Come on. Oh, avoid, avoid the worm. No, god damn it. That worm has a lot of health in expert mode, doesn't he? Oh, what? He's only got 1,300 health left. What the heck, man? What a bunch of crap. Come on, man. As, as soon as we do the solar pillar, we can move on to the stardust pillar and get ourselves a stardust dragon. Because I freaking love the stardust dragon. It is like one of my favorite weapons of all time in 1.3. Right, here we go. Let's do this thing for the final time. We're going to move over to the solar pillar, kick that guy's ass and any of his little cronies that are with him. And then after that, we'll move on to the Stardust Pillar and then finally get ourselves one of those beautiful, beautiful Stardust Dragon Staffs. Because I, I like those things. I, I like them a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Because those things, like if you have a massive dragon, you're going to be doing a heck ton of damage, son. All right, here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get wrecked, son. Yeah. What you going to do? What you gonna do? Or oh, what you gonna do? Or oh, what you gonna do? I'm gonna poop on you. Hey, get out of here, stupid worm. I'm nowhere near the freaking, like, air. Nowhere near the air. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, well, it doesn't matter a great deal. How many fragments did we get out of that? 47? That's not too bad. That's honestly not too bad. I'm not... I'm, I'm pretty okay with that, actually. That's pretty cool. Alright, so the next pillar to take down is, indeed, the thing. The thing, I tell you. The Stardust Pillar. Although I feel like making the solar eruption might be a good idea first, just so we have additional damage. So, yeah. Alright, let me go ahead and, uh, can we organise our inventory just a wee bit? Let's just do the old quick stacky action. There we go. The rest of the uh, fragments are in here. So let's go over to the manipulator, see what we can make. Yeah. Daybreak, 176. Solar eruption, 123. Mmm, and this thing reaches really quite far, but then again, the daybreak... Ooh, we could actually make both if we really wanted to. Should we do that? Should we make both of them? One of them's thrown. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm actually thinking of making both. Ah, oh, sod it. Let's do it. Let's make both of them. Let's do it, man. Daybreak. Uh, I'll tell you what. I wouldn't mind getting a reforge on the daybreak. So do you know what I'm going to go ahead and do? I'm going to do exactly that. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I took off my uh, my lightning boots in favor for a, a spore sack just for additional damage. Right, okay, so let's put on the discount card and let's see about reforging the daybreak to have ourselves something cool on it. Unpleasant is okay, but I feel like we can get something better. Forceful, zealous, damaged, damaged again, weak. Oh, come on. Are you really going to do this to me? There we go, godly. Hey, that's what I like to see. What's that? Plus 10% damage. I, 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 I dig it. I dig it. I like it. I'll take it. Uh, let's take off the yo-yo. And yeah, I think, we're, I think we're good to go. Let's go over to the Stardust Pillar. And let's see about kicking some booty. Let's do it. Alrighty, guys. We're now approaching the Stardust Pillar. Alright. The time is now. We gotta do this thing. Should we try using the Daybreak for a little bit? See how it does? I don't know, man. I feel like it might do a decent job if we, you know, do a decent job of avoiding death and such. So, yeah. Hopefully we do okay. Oh, yeah, that's why right. you get the lasting damage perk of the solar eruption and the daybreak. They both do, like, 25 damage per tick, which is very, very healthy, if I do say so myself. But, I don't know, man. In terms of... In terms of crowd control, I honestly think that the solar eruption is going to be the thing we use. So, yeah, let's do it, man. Come on! Yeah, there we go. Again, all the things. My little Xeno dude's gonna work. I like it. Hey, 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 bubbles. Hey, bubbles. What the hell? There's so many bubbles around here, man. <laughs> what is this? A freaking child's birthday party? What the heck, man? There's so many of these bubble dudes around, dudes. Whoa. Hey, 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 hey. You go away. There we go. Right now, we can all have a happy time. And, oh, good lord. There's a lot of dudes here, isn't there? Uh, no, no, you're not, you're not killing me, Bubbles. Thank you. Gee, gee, there's loads of them. There's literally loads of Bubbles. I don't know whether to be excited about all the Bubbles or very scared. But, I don't know, man. If we can avoid death for at least one of the pillars, then I think our reputation for expert mode may actually be able to be salvaged. So, you know, 
we could actually do this, that'd be great. Ah! Hey! 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 Get wrecked! You lot can also get wrecked! Oh, no, 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 Mr. Bubble! You stay away, son! You stay away. Alright, okay. Oh, I'm almost dead, actually. Holy crap. I'm almost dead, but I got like five seconds until regen. I think I should be able to. Oh! Damn it, man! I got pinched! Oh, man! That was like a proper pincer movement, wasn't it? Those two projectiles, I couldn't get in between them, so... Yeah, well, I did get in between them, but that's what killed me, so... Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, good old sip of the old tea just to refuel myself. And, yeah, we're gonna get back over there and kick some booty ass, because they need to die and stuff. Like, for real, they need to die. Because otherwise I can't progress on with the game and get myself an epic dragon. So, yeah, let's get back over there, shall we? Come on, you bunch of pansies! You want to take me down? Do a better job of it, Budski. Come on! Let's do this! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I've got faith, I've got faith. How, how's the shield looking right now? It's pretty translucent, actually. I don't think he's got too much of it left, actually. I think we've done a pretty good job of taking down this, uh, taking down this pillar without having too many troubles. At the very least, anyway. Right, there we go. My daybreak doing the job right there. Obviously, it's, it's more like a ranged melee weapon, isn't it? Oh, good sweet lord. Oh, good sweet lord. There's a lot of guys around here. Holy poop sack. Come on, man. We can do this. We can do this, man. I've got faith. I've got faith. I'll tell you what. We need to try and get out of this place. There we go. If we can get out of it. There we go. Uh, now we've got all the bubbles following me. Bubbles! Bubbles everywhere! Oh my god, there's bubbles literally everywhere. This is kind of bad. <laughs> Alright, there we go. And there's little hearts all over the place. What the hell kind of meteor is this? This is a weird-ass meteor. Anyway, uh, yeah, I've dipped out of here because I want to go ahead and do a bit of the old regen action with the shiny stone. Because, obviously, by staying still, we're going to get an insane amount of health regen. As you can see, 260, 70, 80, 90, 300. You know, it really does do the job of regening your health at an insanely quick rate. And I can actually see some hearts down there, so I don't think I'm going to need the entire load of regen. So, there we go. Let's take it off. Let's get ourselves another dude. Because, obviously, by taking off the Papa Scarab, we, uh, minus one minion. So... So, yeah, it's a good idea for us to, you know, keep as many dudes as we possibly can at all times. So that's all good. And I'm already nearly dead. That's fantastic. All right, man, let's get some of the, uh, let's get some of this action going. Holy poop. No, I don't want to die, man. I don't want to die. Like, not at all, actually. If we can avoid it, that'd be great. Come on. 50 health. Oh, my God. We are not doing so hot right now, my friends. If I die again, I'm going to be quite mad. Oh! Okay! 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 Oh, there's all the bubbles! Bubbles! <laughs> I don't know why I get so excited about that. It's just hilarious to me. This is all those bubbles and that Finding Nemo reference of all those. Uh, <laughs> oh, God damn it! Of that fish who opens that little chest in that little fish tank and just like. Bubbles! Oh my god, bubbles! <laughs> Look at that! Look at all them 25 ticks of damage I'm doing to these guys. But the bad news is, they are all now going to, um, you know, they're going to transform into big bubbles and then they're going to kick my ass. So that's great. All right, let's let's uh, let's get some more health up in here and let's get back there <laughs> and keep kicking their booties. Uh, here we go, my friends. The shield is down and the time has come to kick this solar, not solar pillar, the Stardust Pillar's ass. So let's do this thing, man. Come on. Come on. We got this. Five... 5k. Yeah, man. And obviously after this, we'll be able to make ourselves some epic stuff. Uh, we just need to survive, first of all. Uh, and that's the sound of him dying, basically. Right, okay. Oh! Oh! Oh, 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 no. No, you shall not have an aftermath kill. Thank you very much indeed, sir. Alright, there we go. And there's a bunch of hearts on the ground for my troubles. Cheers, Budski. I'll have all the hearts. Nice. Alright, let's see. Uh, 40. We got ourselves 40 fragments from that. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, and there's still a bunch of hearts all over the place. I shall have all of these. Thank you, nom nom. All right, let's move back and let's get ourselves the Stardust Dragon Staff. The time has come. Oh, I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped that we're finally going to get this thing. Oh, there it is. 71 summon damage. Wow, that's actually not a lot. That is really not a lot, actually. I'm actually kind of surprised. Okay, the Stardust Cell Staff does 106 summon damage. Hmm. Cultivate the most beautiful cellular infection. Who needs a horde of minions when you have a giant dragon? Ooh! Alright, how's this? Adept. 
Uh, I want to get damage. I just, like, I outright want Ruthless on my Blum and Star, the Dragon Staff, okay? Like, Ruthless is my aim. Mythical! Hey! I'll take that, man. Mythical's brilliant. I'll take it. 5% crit chance, 11% speed, 15% damage, 15% knockback, minus 10% mana cost. Brilliant. That's fantastic. All right, nice one, man. I'm liking that. I'm a big, big fan of that. Okay, so, uh, once again, we've got banners to put down in the places where the things were. So, that's something to consider doing, you know, at some point. But in the, in the meantime, let's go ahead and put these banners away. Uh, and we're actually also going to put these weapons away here because we don't really need them at this particular moment in time. So, I almost want to do the pumpkin moon in order to get spooky armor. Because I like me some spooky armor. And as you can see, 262 spooky would just outright isn't enough. We need 750 in order to make the full set of spooky armor. Spooky armor, of course, is useful for damage. If you want damage for your minions, then the spooky armor is the way to go. If you want numbers, you know, if you want sort of, you know, attacking numbers, then yeah, tiki armor is the way to go. But I want to try and get myself spooky armor. So, yeah. Unless we have some spooky wood in here. I'm pretty sure we don't, though, because we've only taken down the pumpkin moon, like, once, maybe twice. I can't remember if I'm entirely honest. But, anyways, I think, on that note, it is time to end this particular episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, and, of course, you're excited to see more, be sure to drop a like rating. And, of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. And that reminds me, actually. You guys were saying that the Shield of Cthulhu is very, very good against Duke Fish one, especially for dashing around and doing damage. So that might be a thing to consider doing in the future. Uh, Jagged, uh, I want to try and get one that's got more damage on it, particularly. All right, let's go over here. I'm going to reforge a Shield of Cthulhu, actually. All right, so, yep, that's still on. All right, uh, Intrepid, Jagged, nah, Arcane, Hasty, Hard, Wild, come on, man. Are you really doing this to me? Oh, right, angry shield of Cthulhu? Yeah, that'll do, I guess. I'm gonna put that in the, 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 this slot, and I'm gonna take off the vitamins. All right, the vitamins are going off, and yeah, that's going away. So yeah, if we want to take down Duke Fish one again, we have ourselves a shield of Cthulhu to dash around and avoid him, slash do damage to him by dashing into him. So yeah, anyways guys, already done my outro. Thank you so much for watching your support. As always, has been much appreciated, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.